Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ope, and if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. What's in the app? I'm back with a QA video. I'm going to show you guys my installation, my makeup while answering all the questions that people asked me. The questions were a lot, were juicy, and I had some previous questions too that you guys asked me. Anyways, I'm answering everything in this video. It's in partnership with Natural Girl Wigs. They are actually a ton vendor, so I'm gonna clap for them. Welcome, thank you for feeding us. <laughs> Natural Girl is my plug. If you guys did not know, I worked with them before. I'm going to insert a picture of their correct brand, so I'm, I'm glad. The hair came in this bag. This is their wig Vogue. It's a full blowout wig. This is 24 inches and it's in color one. It actually comes pre plucked, but I plucked it a bit more yesterday. Just have that natural hairline. The lace is actually a caramel color. It would blend easier. You can also add your foundation to make it even more realistic. For this hair, you guys know this. I will not come to you guys without discount. So I fought for my people and I got you guys 10% off. So anything you guys want to order, bruh, they have a wide range of natural hair wigs. You don't even have to be natural, you can be relaxed and you can still rock it. They have ponytails, clippings, afros. I'm going to insert pictures as I'm talking. You guys can see their brand is just on point. The link to the hair, the link to the website, every other detail, I'm going to put it in the description box. And I'm going to be putting my code on this screen. So anything you guys want to order on there, use my code so that you can, you know, save some money. Please, if you guys are here, you know, my studio is opposite an event center. This is just the wig on my head alone without glue please let me and see how realistic see I haven't put glue this comes in closures and frontals by the way so I'm going to go ahead and glue it now and then we start the gist so this hair is kinky in nature i'm sure you guys have seen it is heat resistant up until 400 degrees so you guys can coil it i'm going to insert a picture of someone that wore the same style but she called as just put on and you're out of the door and it's pre-plugged for people like this that don't know anything about hair they just want to wear hair and go so this is the perfect for you and they're available to take any other like, i'm going to keep putting pictures on the screen so you guys can see their range they have an amazing range i'm going to start the q and &E. i'm sure that's why you guys are here <laughs> a lot of people asked me how am i and how is my health i'm good my health is good we praise god i was on admission a few weeks ago but i'm way better now when it comes to sickle cell you really cannot predict anything you're just going to hope for the best but i'm glad that this year at least my health has been pretty solid god has done a thing i've been on admission twice august and november so in november it was pretty no actually august was worse they were both really bad actually in august i had acute chest syndrome in people that have sickle cell that's like a big deal i had that i was almost prepared to last with again but thank god the only spirit took over so I was on oxygen, blood transfusion, antibiotics, the whole nine yards. I'm grateful to God. I'm alive. Thank you guys for always asking after me when I go in my How much have you spent on medical bills this year? Oh, um, more. It's been over a millionaire that I've spent in the hospital this year. Definitely over a millionaire. The oxygen and the antibiotics were a lot. So the two hospital episodes and all the minor, minor pain here and there. Definitely over a millionaire. Almost 1.5 millionaire. The last time I spoke about my health matter, I spoke to you guys about getting an HMO. So I did this year let me not say i did my dad did usually popsy would be the one churning out one point something million but this time around the hmo paid to an extent a tank of oxygen is like 30k the hmo will tell you that they will cover half of it and then you cover half of it but i'm just glad that they took the burden off my dad and my family honestly because imagine popsy paying 1.5 million where would i even find that such money the man has tried honestly because 31 years of taking care of a child with sickle cell is not beans we go through millions per year and it's really scary because there's some people that are somewhere that they cannot afford health I'm just really grateful for my own cup basically. Let's just put it that way. I'm thankful and I hope I'll get to a point where I can actually help other warriors because bruh, I don't know what I'll have done if I didn't have the privilege in quotes that I have and the great health and the opportunity honestly because people have it really badly. I'm just thankful that the HMO came at the right time. It even helped me take off pressure from my chest. Before I used to be scared to go to the hospital because I'm like bruh like my least admission is in hundreds of thousands. I'm just glad that I don't have to do that anymore. It's been a great help on myself and my family i'm from a very large family and the bills for everybody is a bit much and you being the person that is sucking the majority of the money can be really depressing what's the best thing that has happened to you this year i've had a pretty rough year honestly i'll just name my top three the hmo is one of the best things that happened to me this year if you guys know how difficult it is to get funds to pay for the hospital and the whole process i am grateful and i'm so happy that i have hmo so i think that's the best thing that's happened to me this year and the next best thing is me getting my laptop back so my laptop just went off in november 
remember a few days before my birthday i was watching a movie i went to the hospital to collect my injections by the time i came back i wanted to just continue my movie and the screen just went blank and that was it it stopped working and brands had paid me money for that promo i was doing on my instagram it felt really really awkward that i was with their money and then i now fell sick at the same time so it was horrible i felt like a fraud star honestly my laptop was in repairs for like almost two months and i was chasing computer village engineers up and down so i'm just glad that i got it back I didn't lose any file all my documents my applications everything was just intact so i'm grateful those are the two best things that happened to me this year do you still work a nine to five i do i still have my job i'm a civil servant thankfully because of covid we've not really been operating in full capacity so that has really been of benefit to me and my brand honestly because before it was a bit difficult i could not balance the both and it was just messing with my mental health i only go to work three times a week now i'm sure when covid disappears some will call us back so for now i'm lounging i'm going to my studio i'm shooting when i have the time have you ever experienced a vascular necrosis due to sickle cell honestly i don't think so i know all the names and i'm hearing this one for the first time i've not had any diagnosis that is like that sorry if you're going through that when is this your coming to australia australia alone no. you do you put not see the slander about australia on twitter you're always finding all the animals that god did not even remember that he made in you people's place you know i used to really love australia because of jamie and nikki i don't know if you guys remember them the black girl that was married to a white guy but they're divorced now i used to love australia when she says oh i'm going to sydney i'm going to do this i'm like i need to go i don't anymore when they're always finding orangutan in you people's place <laughs> when is laefa coming on your channel please let it be early next year yes ma your wish is my command i will do exactly what you want anything you want like this i'll just do it funny enough laefa has been on my neck for a collab she has been forcing me to come to the island but you guys know that your girl doesn't have a car i'm not mobile she even said she was going to pay for my uber <laughs> but you guys know how serious i am she didn't want me to give any excuses but you trust your girl i give excuses <laughs> Who would you like to shoot a YouTube video with next? Let me go and disturb the person. <laughs> the three people I want to shoot video with, I have their phone number. I just haven't gotten to it or they've just not had time for me. Let me put it that way. So I want to film with Tomike. Before she even had Tomike Jr., we planned on filming, but we never went through with it because she's always busy. She barely even replies texts, so I did not want to bother her. So I left the matter. Then Bisola. Me and Bisola, we will film video since 2019. Today, we have not gotten around to it. I would like to film my other part of Dima's video, but we've not gotten around to that either. Then I want to film with Bimbo, Bimbo La Craig. So those are my people. And then I really like Maraji or Tauma, both of them anyway. I like both of them. Those are the people I would like to have. And then obviously my friend, Adekule Good. I've been telling them that we should come and do song association, but he has just not had my time. And it was not around for a very long time. So those are the only people that I really want on my channel. I want to try this colored liner thing before I move on. You guys, this hair feels very light. There's no AC in my office, so I'm like, it's hot. But the hair is so light, I don't even feel heat. And it doesn't feel like a lot of load on my head the other one i have one other kinky wig like that you know makeup and there's am i overdoing yes the answer is yes but i'm gonna do it that way hmm. not bad if i don't spoil it will my name really be up let us know the brand that was mean to you this year i want to fight really afraid <laughs> Please, dear. Do you want us to end up on this love or be Insta blood? Joe, I've not even recovered from the one in 2020. To recover me. All the brands that are mean to me, they should be drinking water. One hour already. Honestly, I don't give a damn. The brand was very nasty, but I really don't care, honestly. If the matter really bothered me, I will have addressed it in my Insta story. And if I did address it in my Insta story and I've, I'm done with that, multi close chapter here. I'm going to spare them this dragging that you people want me to drag them. How do you start the conversation of the sickle cell while dating? I'll tell you what me I do. First day, I will ask you. Because number one, I catch feelings very easily. I don't like to risk it. So I was on a dating app. I'm still on it, but I've not replied to anybody because they're just stressing me. I don't have the energy for talking stage anymore. It's doing me as if there should be a man now that will know everything about me already. And we just move on. But I try my best to just put it out there as soon as possible. So I'm saying like the first week. How do I start it? When I see that conversation is looking pretty nice, I just ask. In fact, I have like a template that I just forward to the people I'm talking to. Especially on the app. I've stopped using the app now, so I'm not really talking to anybody. Just out here being single by myself i would say you should bring it in the first week if you're a warrior just say it hi by the way i need to say something that's how i always start don't be one month in and you've not told the person that's wrong both for you and the person because i feel like it is mean if by one month you've not told the person don't do that be bold and just go straight with it let me just say how i always ask why before we even go ahead now what's your genotype and the person says why i'm like because i am ss and i need to ask now before we even know what we're doing even if this is a friendship it's very important for you to know 
unfortunately the people i've met on the app are, have all been as so it didn't really move forward from there so they're probably friends some of them have ghosted each other my dating app gist i need to even drop it for you guys because it's just um, uh, nigerian men it's crazy out there i am exhausted and i've never opened it in like months just say it i'm ss what's your genotype the person says oh i'm aa I'm like good do you not mind because some people mind and they have reservations they will just ghost you and they will not tell you so it's very important that you actually do the probing yourself so i just ask and say do you not mind being with someone that has sickle cell and if the person says oh i don't mind or the person says oh i've dated someone that is a warrior before most of them don't even know warrior they say sickle gosh so 1920 don't let anybody believe to you please they are warriors happily married so if that one does not work my friend here dick move on don't use yourself and be begging somebody i will vex if i hear such because a man that you beg to be with you you will continue to beg him to stay with you and we do not have time for that here you are not going to compromise you are as important as somebody that has aa stand strong if the person says can't fine or oh i don't mind fine until they actually see you being sick and they know the gravity most people don't even get it they don't even understand what's going on i've had a guy tell me how she you know good die when we're having sex like this he said it with his full chest and i'm just like sorry so people are actually stupid outside you say it with your full chest it's a badge and an emblem it was way beyond your control you tell them i'm i have sickle cell i'm a warrior what do you think about it are you fine with it before we even go on before we even start talking if you are what my energy can take more do you take iron supplements recommendations or food that contain iron i don't take any iron supplements and i think you shouldn't because if you know sickle cell you're not supposed to have iron because it will affect your eyes it's, iron is bad for you if you go to the hospital they'll tell you not to take any blood supplement that has iron when you said you were drugged what were you drugged for because i don't see a that's the end where the thing ended i don't see a what my dear i've addressed it in my video i'm going to link it here go and watch it i'm not going to address any other thing concerning that one because i've moved on it's best that you don't even know or see any dragon so let's keep it that way let's keep it cute have you ever been in a relationship because you always say you're single my sister i've been in a relationship i've been with two guys before i was in 200 level i've been 300 level yeah, i've just been single next year makes it 10 years i always say i'm single because i am i mean would you prefer me to lie <laughs> don't okay it's just that i've been single for longer than i've been in a relationship so it might actually seem like i always say i'm single all the time because i've been single since before i even started youtube since i've been grown and i've formed my own ideologies i have been single so let's put it that way that relationship the nonsense i took then i can't take it now go for bit search because while i was dating the guy of which he even got married to my cosmates oh god this life is just wild that's another gist i have two accounts my personal and faris account and i just opened my personal account and i just saw that my ex-boyfriend is getting married to my cosmates that knew that i was dating him it's just wild <laughs> Oh my god all of us are somebody ex last last how do you manage to stay positive with all the challenges honestly it gets to me sometimes i sort of break down and i'm overwhelmed 80 percent of the time once i eat food always resets my brain my, my mood so once i'm feeling blue and overwhelmed i just go and buy expensive food and i eat not even necessarily expensive fried yam and chicken i'm fine if it's something that's really bothering me i pray i watch something and i just move on this life you can't kill yourself moving on hello okay how have you been generally have you been coping both financially and mentally um, i've been Copy no, my sister. Do I have a choice? I'm okay, honestly. I can be better, but I'm okay. A lot of things are stressing me out. I don't have a car. I don't have stuff. Like it's just a lot happening at once. I've decided that I'm just going to take each day as it comes, and I'm not going to overwhelm myself with anything. What church do you attend? It's a long story. Actually, it's not long. I'm just kidding. Right now, currently, I attend my dad's church. My dad is a Celestian. I was born in Sele. I have always been a Celestian. But then I went to see you, and then I started going to Winners, and then I went abroad with my masters, and I was going to Winners, and reading and then i was back in lagos and then i started going to royalty christian center it's in agege but then since covid i haven't been to royalty but now i'm fully back in sele mostly because i don't have a car it's a family church so we all just go together hopefully once i get my car i want to start going to cci cci is pastor Aaron's church in case you don't know pastor Aaron and his wife Lajo Aaron, i both see you alumni and i love him i love the way he teaches the word i'm due for a change of church once i'm back on my feet i'm going to start going to cci are you the only sibling in your family with sickle cell yes my immediate family i'm the only one i have cousins too that have sickle cell so we're like four or five in the whole extended family less than 10 sure. and my family is a very large family bear that in mind i'm sure you say yeah 10 people <laughs> we're not even close to each other some are all the way in america some are in nigeria some are in Nabokta, Calabar. so it's not like we're all together and we're falling sick <laughs> how do you get your eyes to be white as per being an ss my 
eyes are not white i don't know why you think it is 99 <laughs> percent of the time my eyes are actually yellow so, but it becomes even way more intense if i'm feeling stressed or i'm about to have a crisis or i have malaria they always say that if you drink water it would clear up a bit it's always water 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 and as long as you don't have an organ damage iron overload or jaundice you cannot actually escape it okay one of my pharmacists she also has like clear eyes not too clear shy it's still yellow there's this look that you just know that this person is a warrior that's if you're familiar with the look sha. can we please get another lit gospel playlist your playlist has influenced the songs i like definitely i told you guys i'm going to do several parts i was about to get my groove back into being back on youtube my laptop packed up again definitely i'm going to film one i have more than 2000 songs that you guys don't even know about and the ones you know about and i'm finding more each day so just watch out for that one definitely have you covered in that space please do makeup on yourself as you're answering the question love you i actually followed that request i was going to do my makeup off camera but then i saw it when it came in on instagram so i decided that i was going to do my makeup while i'm talking to you guys for lasha day clap clap for yourself you got the world a new tutorial <laughs> beauty by Bolaji says i recently started posting on my channel again please how do i get brands to work with also i love your energy and originality so much if you just started posting on your channel let it not be your main focus for now in case you need other advice please refer to this video i made 13 15 things i wish i knew when i joined youtube or when i became active on youtube please check it out it would help you shape your expectations and whatever you think you want to do for you to even get brands to work with you have to have created some sort of value and impressive content if there's no impressive content and there's nothing on your page there's nothing the brands are coming to come and see let your work be out there before you even start thinking of brands to work with just grind 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 keep at it and then it's just normal the moment you put in work by god's grace you'll see results so keep at it there hey, you are young. You are young. Hey, you are young. so i'm going to use this cheek glitch i'm obsessed with this cream blush Sinach says, can I model for you, my dear? I don't collect freelance models anymore. Why? Because I've noticed that it's too much stress for me. The few times I've gotten freelance models, it becomes really stressful because they are not familiar with the kind of fluidity and output I want. So I prefer to just get professionals, people that are like signed to agencies. It saves me a lot of stress. I don't have to do too much directing. How many siblings do you have? Why do I always get this question? I have addressed it in my last Q&A tag here. I have a lot of siblings, both from my mom's side and my dad's side. So we plenty. So except you sending us money i don't know how i'm going to count all of us for you your gospel playlists are not something we should not have on a regular please post some vlogs Eshema. yes ma all the things you ask me for i will do it i will definitely do the gospel playlist again you guys will continue to have it on a regular am i worried why are you not giving vlogs again i'm begging you now i actually have recent vlogs and i have several vlogs that i've not edited i did oh and party vlog you could not watch it so the vlog is always hard to edit so i've decided that if people are not going to watch it i'm not going to disturb myself you have to promise me in the comment section that you're going to start watching if i get a hundred we will watch it i will do vlog because it's not easy to go for events carry camera up and down and then you now do to 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 your edits for like 100 years nobody will now watch it until you people decide to watch i'm not doing vlog i'm going to be using this setting powder by my girl laifa i hope you guys know laifa has a brand now it's called merak and she has really nice setting powders and some other stuff so please patronize my game i love this powder like it's so fluffy I love you. Feels like you're my elder sister from far. Uh -huh. How do you cope with pain? Currently experiencing leg ulcer and it's super terrible. I try but I feel lost. What music helps you overcome pain? First of all, funny enough, I have a leg ulcer too, but mine is not like full blown leg ulcer. It's just it's more like thrombophlebitis, not leg ulcer. It's as a result of a drip line on my leg. It hasn't healed for like a few months now. I totally understand what you're saying and where you're coming from. Take it one day at a time. You feel better. It would eventually heal. Really. But the music, I have a gospel playlist on my channel. I have two actually i think i'm going to create a youtube playlist and open it up so that you guys can listen to it when you feel like before i do those my gospel videos but i have two playlists right now currently on my channel so you can check those ones out i hope they really help you honestly but you can check out maverick city i just really like worship songs and i also currently like bd miolaoba well not currently i've liked him since i listen to most of his performances now and again if you watch my old videos if you check the caption i've linked some of them but you can also check that one i hope you feel better soon honestly there's someone here called la juni and she's 
says why do you never never acknowledge compliments or even comments i don't know where you've been commenting and i don't know what compliments you have given me that i've not addressed but that's not true because number one i don't live on social media in case you have not noticed cannot stay there forever and sit down there and be replying comments the highest i can do is like the comments like put a like if i keep replying everybody don't you think i'm going to spend all day this is not me talking from a place of pride or anything it's just like on your birthday now you cannot answer everybody so i get a lot of questions if i see it i appreciate it you don't have to like answer one by one everybody i won't be productive if i keep doing that so i'm sorry you feel that way i really hope that you keep complimenting and commenting Emma, you know it's not from a place of hate or pride i'm so sorry but i can only do the one i can do as you can see it's only me one we are not three in one just one so i can only do so much thank you sorry your girl did a good job on this lane i don't know how to do baby here so we're gonna take it like this i'm glad you're better now and your laptop is back so are you in a relationship or are you single i've addressed this i am single i'm not in any relationship because if i'm in a relationship people know especially if you follow me on instagram me i don't used to do that let's keep a secret and unveil the day i don't have time for that i will show my man in case there's any other person's man so that person can come and claim him hopefully god forbid i will not be in that kind of predicament because not predicament do you need an online assistant i can help with re replying dm and the like no dear i don't need such my business is still a one woman business for now and it's not like as if i'm selling anything i prefer a service the brands that would need you are people that sell something or companies so that they will need reply to the clients i'm service based i can reply my clients myself and i can reply people that would need to patronize me myself at least to the best of my knowledge i don't miss anyone that is a paid opportunity so i think i'm good on that side how is mr Bello? <laughs> So she's talking about Corede Bilu. It's fine, I guess. In case you guys have not noticed, since our last video and a few months after that, I haven't been posting or saying anything about him. That's because we kind of had a misunderstanding. Is it misunderstanding? No. More like how do i say this thing that will not be controversial so i don't want to put anybody's business out there so if i give you guys a very vague answer it's not because i'm beating around the bush it's just because i have noticed that anything i say can be misconstrued and the next thing i know i'm on blogs and i don't want that kind of wala for my life i'm just going to keep it nice and cute he's fine i think i think i saw him in july he came for my brother's birthday but i haven't seen him since then i haven't spoken to him either we already squashed the issue we had well he squashed it and i just watched and listened and and after that he sent <laughs> he sent me money to buy flour <laughs> So there's this plant I have in my studio, the green plant. It's Corede that sent money for me to buy it. Because I told him that before I would forgive him, he has to appease the gods. So he sent money for me to buy that flower. Um, but then since then we haven't spoken. And that was like what, over six months now. If you put Corede bill on the road, you have to go and ask him yourself. I'm just going to move on from that question, please. I don't have the energy for stress. Mm. Oh, Roger. This person's question is a whole comprehension. So she says, does the size of your stomach... <laughs> I'm done. You guys are wild. She's a warrior and she says does the size of your stomach worry you how do you conquer your health challenges while working my dear you can't conquer anything honestly i have not been able to film this video or any of the likes because i have been ill your health and your finances are most times and your work always in shambles you are lucky if you're an entrepreneur if you work in a company they'll probably be looking for a way to replace you honestly you're always in the hospital i'm grateful i work for myself my boss at work is pretty understanding i've not had any challenges with work except times when i have to cancel brides clients so those are the only challenges like now i had a follower from america and she wanted me to do a makeup this woman already booked an hotel did everything for me within lagos but a day before our event or two days before our event i landed in the hospital i was on blood transfusion oxygen just recently just like three weeks ago so it would always affect your work it's just a cross that you have to carry unfortunately i just try my best to not overkill myself sometimes i'm bummed like now that my subscriber that came from america she's been looking forward to me doing a makeup like we've been talking about it in dm and it finally came she was in nigeria and i could not and i felt so bad but she even sent me money as far i should even use it to ginger myself i felt so bad i'm like god this woman I, I was even looking forward to the hotel to go and sleep inside hotel that's how much she wanted me to do her makeup but i ended up in the hospital a few days before it's just an unfortunate matter shabo you have to just live through it she says have you ever been judged or told you can't do certain things because of your health how did you feel and what did you do not really anything that i'm not doing i'm happy not to do it let's just put it that way like now when i was in school they banned me from jogging but i know that it was for my own good if i jog let me go end up in the one time that the guy that was, was in charge was not around i knew about me and the other person forced me i've never reached one quarter of the way i don't puff car on the floor and i started having crisis immediately they had to rush me to the hospital nobody has stopped me from doing anything anything i'm not doing is because i don't want to do it not because someone told me not to do it who is the person i don't guess who 
Ooh, you tell me not to do what I want to do. Like now, I don't go to the beach. I don't like going to the beach. I have noticed that every time I go to the beach, I always have crisis. So I stopped doing it. Nobody's going to say, I don't go to the beach, no? I'm a grown ass woman. So if I don't do anything, it's willingly. In case there's something you want to do and you're not being allowed to do it, I hope the person is concerned from a place of love because it's different when they are trying to control your life or omit you from things that would be beneficial to you. It's different than when it's because of your health and they are just bothered about your health. That's why they're saying you should not do it. Just make sure that you're on the winning side. So just make sure that people that are stopping you from doing things are doing it because it's of your own benefits she also says did your parents restrict your freedom because of your health if yes how did you cope no my mom died when i was 14 i still live with my dad i'm from a very big family and he's a very busy man there's nobody that will tell me you can't do anything i never had that case if they tell me i can't do anything maybe cold water everybody's always shouting up it was a misconception then when we we're younger that cold water is the one that triggered crisis meanwhile it's not so i guess everybody's enlightened now they still talk oh, like my father now they don't bore me where to carry cold water inside his room or let him catch me drinking cold water i'm finished finished <laughs> The last time someone jabbed in front of him and said I was drinking cold water. Oh my, it was not funny. Like my dad parad. It was as if he was waiting for me to fall sick and come and tell him my money for hospital. <laughs> That's the only thing I was restricted on basically. But apart from that, I never had anything like that. She said, truth is, I am a warrior going into self-discovery and battling how people see me as weak despite the fact that I am not lazy and have potential. My parents have clipped my wings right now. I'm pushing so hard and I want to know if it's worth it. I'll be glad if you at least answer one of my questions. You know what, eh? I'm pretty sure that we all know how expensive sickle cell is. And I'm sure that it hurts your parents when they see you in the hospital to avoid that and also to keep the money in their pocket so that they don't spend give it to the doctor at the hospital i guess that's why they're telling you to not do certain things it would get to a stage where they'll leave you like the way mine has left me and leave you is not in a negative way it's more like they believe that you're grown enough to behave yourself and take care of your life but before you get to that stage you have to actually hold on and that's the honest truth i'm advising you as a warrior and as a sister you have to hold on there's nothing you can do because it's not as if when you go sick now it's you that'll pay your hospital bill they are still the one that will pay your hospital bills so i'm sure they are also pressed i'm sure they are not happy to have you in that position just understand and do your best to work with what you have don't put too much problem on yourself we are all adults to get to a point where even your hospital bill is not your father that will pay it anymore it will be you and it will be 100 percent your responsibility so until then just take it slowly take it easy and take it one day at a time don't overwhelm yourself honestly so don't do that to yourself it's only lead to depression how is your relationship with the guys now seeing as one of them is married now and the rest probably have significant others the man them are still going strong in case you don't know what she meant i'm going to link the video here i have like a group of guy friends i call them the man them i have way more but the man them they're just three guys i'm the fourth person they did the voiceover for my video i'm going to link it up here so you guys can watch it the man them are okay shego is married obviously you guys saw that on my insta story shego has even relocated safe you have gone with his bride they've left me in this country then aya is fine aya is busy hustling as usual hustler from one business to the other okay wrote to me you guys see wrote to me on my insta story more Roti me is chilling. I love my boo and he's enjoying his life. Like Roti me is living his best life. You guys know that Roti me is a chef. My boy even featured in movie Living in Bondage. He has a cameo in it. That's how much you know that my guys they are winning and I love to see it. We're still good. We still have our WhatsApp group that we don't even see anything on anymore except they want to roast each other. You guys know that they are always insulting one person or the other. So yeah. Why don't warriors talk about the after effects of our crisis? How it affects mostly our finances? Um, if you know me, you know that that's literally all I talk about. I feel like we hide that aspect because we know how much of a burden it can be on others if you check my instagram there's a highlight on my page where i called it cream symbol he has all my experience as a warrior there and my tips and everything that you need if you check you would see some parts where i posted hospital bills i didn't even post the expensive ones though. i posted the cheap ones and they were in like 300 000, 400 000. this year alone i was spent more than a millionaire in the hospital it's not cheap so i feel like people don't talk about it because they feel like if you talk about it and they come close to you or they try to relate it with you you want I to get to a point where they will need to pay money or show up for you as a warrior and people don't want to do that honestly your family members will get tired it's better to just make sure no and keep quiet about it they don't want to talk about it but we all know that it is damn expensive so we can only hope for the best and hope for healing do you feel pressured by your family to get married not at all i won't say pressure there's the comments of ah uh -uh, and draw you know like your people are always looking for where to eat rice up and down i see there's no food in the house from my immediate family no i don't get such i won't call it pressure more like teasing yeah i think i'll call it teasing more like oh, yeah 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 when your husband come now would chicken or where's your husband shall i bring him let's see him or when are you getting married it's just funny comments it's not pressure i don't have anybody pressurizing my life my father just says it's a joke sometimes that oh yeah 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 got married he wants to rent out my room i've told you guys before apart from that it's whenever i bring husband home i bring husband home i'm finally doing my makeup so i can answer people's question fully
I'm glad you're not letting sickle cell get the best of you, even though it can be frustrating. Shabi, if I let it get the best of me, I have just one life. So I have to make the best, I have to maximize the time I have. And everybody would use the time they have. So I don't want to have any regrets in my old age. By God's grace, I will live till my old age. I don't want to have any regret that ah, I should have enjoyed myself when I could have. May God not allow us to see such regrets. I try my best to use all the talents God gave me, basically, and make the most of my life. And I really hope everyone is doing the same. When will you turn your IG comments back on? My IG comments are on. It's just my DM reply is locked because people tend to reply to my story when I post even the littlest things. And it can get overwhelming. Imagine 1,000 people replying your story. So if I put maybe something funny now, all of them will put lol, 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 like that, like that. And it gets overwhelming. I don't see people that are actually asking me correct questions and things like that. My Insta story is only open to people I follow. So if I follow you, you'll definitely be able to reply my stories. If not, you have to send an individual DM. I only open it up when I ask for opinions or questions about something. So what's your take on the whole Tonto DK and Gina Mena saga? She used the word saga. <laughs> I don't know if you know. I don't really care about such things. I won't say I don't know what the saga is about because I've seen it. But really, it's not my cup of Pepsi. I don't even have opinions about such things. I don't position myself in such cases. I don't give a damn about what they are doing with their life. Honestly, everybody my wife right. There's a lesson say, Bubu wani yoduro ni waju oluwa ategbe ati yagba awo si rojo wa. What that literally means is at the end of the day, both young and old who will stand before Christ and say the one we did while we were on earth. So I don't really care. That one is not even my business at all, at all, at all, at all. Have you ever battled with loneliness and won? If yes, how? Um, uh, loneliness have hooked me in the neck plenty times. I don't compare myself to others. That's one thing. I have friends that in my secondary school were mates. They are married with kids. Like, they have babies a lot. I mean, I'm just here enjoying my baby girl lifestyle. I don't allow things like that get to me. If I'm lonely, I watch movies. I have tried my best to occupy myself with work and enjoy my life. If I feel extra pressured, I go and watch movie in the cinema or something. You're going to eat. After you guys, 80% of things that happen in my life are being solved by food. Hence the fatness. Timbati were depressed by Malogbe Onjeni and once I eat, I'm fine again. Like, it's very weird. So, until I have something else that occupies my day and occupies my life, God, the Holy Spirit, movie, Instagram, Bebo, work, and food. I've done me really good of late. That's how I've won. And I've managed to stay afloat for all these years, 10 years and counting. What advice would you give an introverted 20 year old in uni finding themselves? <laughs> First of all, do not be pressurized by anything. That your classmate is coming to school with Gucci bag and Prada, it's not your concern. Focus on yourself and focus on what you came there to do. You're better off reading and getting it done once than losing focus and doing something totally off what you're supposed to do. That's number one. Number two, you have time. You see that adulthood thing that everybody is just jumping inside is not sweet. Well, light, light. It's not sweet. It's just a lot going on. So please, just take it one day at a time. Make decisions that your future self will thank you for. And if you've made a mistake or anything, don't beat yourself up. We are all humans. Don't give yourself a headache. Move on. Live each day as it comes. There's one thing Papa used to tell us when I was in CU. He used to say, the pain of discipline is far lesser and better than the pain of regret. So what that means is basically, suffer your suffer now. So you don't suffer longer. So you know suffer tomorrow. That's what Papa used to tell us then when I was in see you. He'll say a pain of regret is the worst because number one is at your old age or even not even old age. The things that you should have suffered for and just took it as life lessons you didn't and now you're older. You're just like I should have done A, I should have done B. Anything you think that your classmates, your schoolmates, your friends are doing that you feel left out of because you're even introverted. You don't make friends easily. That was me. I've addressed this before in the last assumption video. I never had friends when I was in school. I was a loner. My few friends go. I was like a third wheel to them but i did not allow that one rule my life i enjoyed myself and i moved on there's time now i'm an adult i can go out when i want i can decide not to sleep at home i can decide not to go back to my house in the next three months nobody asked me that's what happened but in those days it felt like i was suffering enjoy your pain of discipline and pay your dues basically do it now so you not do it in your old age that's my advice do you listen to podcasts and do you think podcasting will ever have a chance in nigeria um, i'm not a podcast person i tried it for a while but then um, it's not really my cup of tea maybe because i haven't like giving it a chance per se and i think podcasting is doing really well in nigeria because i said what i said is like the biggest podcast that i know and that's our feminist queens jola and fk they have a podcast called i said what i said they really touch on important topics it's pretty fun because i see clips now they make youtube videos too so i can watch that instead people are already getting open to the podcasting in nigeria now and it's becoming bigger so at least even me that don't listen to podcasts i see i said what i said so and i see what they're doing and i'm so proud of them so you guys see see the parts of this 
this thing wig wear please dear can you point to it i hope this isn't too personal can you please do a video on being as a single and plus the stigma i'm over it it doesn't affect me what people think and their thought process is really not my concern anymore i don't bother myself about it if you want to stigmatize that's your cup of tea you are the one that is an animal it's really all on you not on me so i don't give myself bother being single pressure is a bit much because unlike any other genotype you have to marry someone that is AA. you can't afford to make a wrong decision and the pool is a bit small means you can't just be dating for dating sake you have to make sure that this person fits in your puzzle perfectly the pressure can also be external don't put yourself in that kind of situation where you're looking like the one with the problem now nah, don't do that to yourself just live your life and enjoy yourself when the husband comes the husband comes how many relationships have you been in do you regret moving back to nigeria after your masters <laughs> how many serious relationships have been in just two Abby? no three three relations i almost forgot my secondary school boyfriend <laughs> lol three relationships in total one in secondary school when i was in 100 level and the third was 300 so this was years ago i'm talking 15 16 plus years from my first boyfriend so do i regret moving back honestly yes i won't say regret because i feel like the way i've built my brand i might not have been able to do that if i was in the uk i feel like the moving back kind of solidified what i really wanted to do with my life for me if i had stayed in the uk i don't know if i would be doing what i'm doing right now but let me put it this way before I traveled I was working in a consulting firm and I didn't like my job at all it was basically a 5 to 10 p.m. job I was spending hours in the traffic I didn't have any interest I wish I stayed back and maybe built a life there because obviously the value of living for my health for my business everything is way better abroad everyone knows that but then I'm glad I came here to build what I have now and solidify my career then I was just in between I just knew that I had to get a master's degree first that was what my father wanted if the opportunity arises to jack by again no more phew, I'm gone. What's the most you've made from YouTube? You said we should be nosy. <laughs> What's the most I've made from YouTube at once? I think like $500, I think. I don't even think it was at once. I think it was gradual. The honest truth is I haven't really earned as much as you think I earn on YouTube. My income on YouTube has been very, 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 very low. In fact, when I was MIA and I wanted to weigh my options, do I really want to go through the stress of coming back on YouTube editing? I didn't have a life. All I did was YouTube, YouTube, film, record, editing did film a did post that was literally all it was affecting me and i'm like it's not as if the finances are that massive i feel like i'm getting paid from opportunities youtube have opened to me more than i'm getting paid from youtube i'm getting paid more to talk about a brand or to work for a brand than youtube itself is paying me and generally payments for nigerians is really 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 low our cpm is very low other nigerian youtubers make a lot of money off it but the money is not cha-ching as you guys think it is what's your experience dating in lagos love you i don't have experience in dating in lagos that's the honest truth i wish i had a gist to give you guys but i do not number one you guys know it does not go anywhere so i'm not even meeting the people that will even give me the experience any experience i'm having is from talking to people online i can tell you for a fact and for free that the people that are on dating apps are mad people psychopaths and when we low and be don't bother yourself i have rarely met one good person like 80 percent of them just ghost on you i don't know i will see my dating app experience you guys that's a whole video on it so you guys should let me know if you want to see it why did you pursue makeup rather than what you studied because i hated my job i hated the experience coming out of cu i served i did my three weeks in jobs by the time i moved back to lagos i got a job in a consulting firm for the six seven months i was there i was miserable i did not like it at all vision i had for myself as a working class person i was this nine to five chick wearing heels strutting and stuff and i really wanted that glam office girl look that they always show in movies but um, when i had it bruh the fact that i was commuting from mainland to the island i don't know how people do that thing every day i cannot it was making me depressed i was lacking sleep it was horrible so i just did the masters apart from the enlightenment i got from it and knowing what to do if the need arises i don't really use what i studied in school honestly makeup has been my passion if i knew that the world was going to become this creative i would have been open-minded in what i studied so maybe i'll have studied creative marketing or you know things like that social media branding and all those things i'll have done something in that aspect so what are your pet peeves or more body odor and mouth odor it's so bad that it disrupts my life if i'm somewhere and someone that has a body odor comes in or more my whole existence will just start shutting down <laughs> i cannot i don't know if i can if i can how strong can i say the not i cannot stand body odor and mouth odor like it actually bothers me a lot if this one is more than pet peeve pet peeve yato this one is 
is a calamity, calamitous matter. There's no words. Then the next will be maybe sluggishness, dishonesty, you know, the basic bad things that people do. I'm pretty tolerant of people, but that's body odor. I cannot tolerate it. Sorry, dear. This question is actually very hilarious. Are you actively positioning yourself for the man God has for you? <laughs> Honestly, I cannot categorically tell you that I'm doing that because I'm always at home and I'm always at work. I don't go out, I don't go to bars, I don't go to club, I don't go to anything, I don't go to events. Any event you see me is a makeup event. If it's not makeup event, you're not know, family. This December, ending of the year, I've had like five invites to weddings and I never went to any. I had like three other events. I would plan and on that day, I would just decide not to go. So I don't even go out, I don't go to eat, I don't go to chill. Honestly, I can't see I'm positioning myself well. So it's only the Holy Spirit that can literally push me right now at this point. Or just let the man just come and knock on my door or enter my DM somehow. Because if he's positioning, why is not doing that? Pray for your girl. So between pasta dishes and rice, what would you have? Don't be biased. Honestly, I would choose rice. The pasta I ate that I really, really enjoyed was roti me. My roti me, yes, see, mine. <laughs> he made pasta and sent it to me because I was sick. It was yummy. It was so nice. I've not had people make pasta the way I would love to eat it. But you see rice, both wise, jollof, fried, Chinese, coconut, and dear. What are your negotiables and non-negotiables for you in a relationship? Well, negotiable is maybe tribe. At this point, I don't really mind the tribe. As much as I would love a Yoruba speaking husband because I'm very Yorubatic. I don't know the word to use. I really value my language. It's a huge part of how I express myself. And if I have to say it in English and translate in English, I feel like it might make me a bit tired. And I don't think I can do that for the rest of my life. But I'm open to someone that's from another tribe. Maybe can speak Yoruba at least understand Yoruba. Non-negotiable is religion. I cannot not marry. I won't say never. And I cannot say not. But I don't think I can marry someone that is not a Christian. And not just a Christian. Like a born again Christian. It's very important. Not just being a born again Christian. We also have to have the same ideologies. For example, there are people that are Christians and they just do not understand the mystery and the idea and the ideologies behind tithing. Anybody that is going to argue with me about tithing. Things like uh, why do men of God have so much money, private jet, things like that. Mm -mm, me and you cannot be on the same page. I cannot just say Christian and throw a blanket on it. So there are some things that I cannot compromise. I cannot be with someone that's obviously that wants premarital sex. You will not get that from me, unfortunately. Sorry. If you're not on the same page with celibacy, that will be a problem because you cannot be with me and then be going outside to be sleeping with other people because your girlfriend is celibate. And obviously non-negotiable, That you guys already know my stand on domestic violence, polygamy, things like that. I cannot deal. I don't have a problem if the guy is from a polygamous family because I don't want to judge a book by its cover but 80% in fact 95% of the time children from polygamous home no matter how harmonious they seem that their family oh we don't fight they don't do this there's still 80% of the time or 95% of the time the children are damaged and that's the honest truth you might think oh I'm whole I'm not damaged it's not really like damage damage but I feel like psychological repercussions from being from a polygamous family every one of us has it so it'd be nice if I can have someone that's from a one father one mother three siblings kind of family they value each other they hold each other in high esteem they love each other simple family that's the kind of family i want to marry into because honestly a large family is a large problem now one auntie somewhere one sister somewhere is yimui behind you you get it. so those are the matters that i hold really high like now all this feminism i want my husband to be a feminist I don't have the energy for all this patriarchal rubbish just let's have the same ideologies let's believe in the same things me i can smell sexism chauvinistic people misogynist i can smell them from far i try my best to stay away from such they are not negotiables to me any man that thinks that your wives need to get permissions to do things you own your bride you all this kind of dirty talk me and you cannot be together that's the honest truth because i'm going to argue a lot coming to an end finally dealing with fake influencers that only want to deal with you to add to your followers i guess she's saying how do you deal with that what's my business i don't have friends like that i don't have opportunists as my friends before you can even come near me and try to use me go she be all i've opened the door for you if there's no door how you enter people that are already inside my door they are not opportunists we rise by lifting on the narrow women supporting women friends supporting friends i don't have any user in my circle god forbid such our resources is for all of us if one person has it they put the other person on that's how we grow don't be in a circle where you are leeching and it feels like you're forcing yourself or you are the one that is even leeching to use the other people it's always value for value if you want value you have to give value be the friend that has resources and i don't mean resources as for money you can give your time your support what you give is what you receive basically how close are you to mrs tosin alabi Ivino? we are sisters basically tosin is my guy we finished from cu we went to the same school we didn't meet in school we met outside of school i think we even met on instagram honestly i can't remember how me and Tosi became friends but i think it was around the time she was in school in scotland so i think it was off instagram and a blog or something i'm not sure i can't remember honestly it's been years how close are we, we were pretty close i raised my daughter <laughs> she's my guy basically i've spoken about Tosi like three times on this
this channel already how do you deal with family or friends that don't support the brand but want free makeover the thing is i pay my dues i'll just let them have it for like once twice now i just don't pick up the call or i don't reply they corner me and i tell them my price and they can't pay you can go even my sisters pay me bimbo pays me when she wants anything except if i give her freely people around me pay me because my is to joke with my money i have family members that feel like they are family why should they pay or they think i'm too expensive i have family members like that i also have family members that think what am i using money for what is so important that you are going to charge your family member to do the service for them and i don't make myself available to them anymore that's the honest truth unfortunately the economy i always lie i'm sorry to say that i lie but that's the truth i'll probably say oh i'm sick i've used my health as an excuse several times to remove myself from situations where it's insulting to not pay me because i put a lot in my craft you go outside and pay hairstylists you pay another makeup artist you pay nail artists but when it comes to your sisters or your cousins you don't want to pay nobody has time for that and i will not put myself in such situations so tell them oh i'm booked that day oh i don't feel well that day i have a bright oh i'm outside of lagos those are all the lies i've used for you let me just tell you the truth so nobody's going to take me for idiot again i've done that in the past and i'm not doing that again we all know how hard this country is besides makeup what other hobbies do you have my other hobby is resting resting strolling through instagram eating very much so korean dramas are my hobbies now i'm really into korean drama if you guys want me to make videos about korean drama let me know drop comments like i love love korean dramas now as a christian woman do you have pressure to get married my dear i do not have any pressure the holy spirit has helped me to lift the weight in my weight i'm going to write this here so you understand the holy spirit has helped me to lift the weight in my weight nobody is stressing me out what exactly am i pressurized for my siblings can get married i will wish them and i'll dance on their wedding day it's really not affecting me in any way shape or form when god is ready it will happen i really really feel bad for people that say they're pressurized because i can't even imagine that's such an inconducive environment to be in imagine being pressurized to marry so ghetto no please if you are a person that is pressurizing anybody on instagram online your fellow people your friends to get married you should stop that it's a very very bad habit like don't go on that side and say ah when are you getting married all these kind of stupid things please don't it's a very very horrible thing to do i don't know why people do it it's so disgusting where do you buy affordable clothes shoes bags and accessories in lagos also outfit ideas for work if you guys want me to do a video about my fashion and clothes i wear where i find my clothes please let me know because i cannot even start answering that in this kind of video if you want all my outfit hacks any outfit you see on instagram and you want to know how far all my accessories where i get my stuff please let me know i'm going to do a whole video for you guys fashion video i'm going to do everything especially for my plus size queens because we know how hard it is to get outfits in the market that is our size let me know and i'm going to do a video about that your experience doing your masters in the uk do you have any tips my experience was amazing it's totally different from nigeria you cannot 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 compare education in nigeria to the one abroad it's so different i was going with my full two one chest i finished with two one from Kerala university and i entered my first test that i wrote when i was abroad like this i failed bagam i was shocked i'm like eh? and it was common english language and i failed that was what made me sit up my experience is totally different if you want me to compare nigerian education and uk education i'm going to make a video about that it's hilarious actually how did your family react to you going into makeup fully especially after doing masters abroad or more it was mostly my dad because obviously if i were him i would do the same after spending millions of naira sending a child to school and then the child comes back and says oh that thing i read in school i don't want to use it i want to be painting faces his exact word was after your school you still want to be carrying box and be painting people's faces and i'm like yeah that's what i want to do he didn't have it at first he didn't understand but i think after a while when he started seeing my work online and he saw how dogged i was i was determined myself and my sister we came back we're like okay take your degree we passed now entrepreneurship <laughs> i think he just caught on he was tired of forcing us to bring our cv he eventually won because he eventually got a nine to five but at least the first four years i did my own thing what has helped build your faith in times of trials when you have health crisis i just try and confess the word of god and i know that it's going to pass i pray to god and say god don't let this crisis be my last it's more like don't let it kill me and i pray for healing and i surround myself with good vibes if i'm strong enough i just play music on my laptop or watch movies if i'm strong enough but if i'm in pain i just pray basically there's nothing you can really do it's really depressing being in the hospital alone just try to surround myself with good vibes and just wait for the haze to pass I'm, I'm going to show you guys the possibility of this hair shot and i'm going to post it on instagram so you guys can see when i curl it it curls so beautifully i love this hair it comes in closures frontal shorter length it is heat resistant you can coil it you can bend the roll it you can do anything they have u parts i'm going to put in pictures as i'm talking so you guys can see what they have they have u parts that if you want your natural hair to cover they are extremely budget friendly bra go on their website and feed your eyes you'll be shocked how good hair costs so cheap and that is because they are budget friendly they have a variety for both relaxed and natural queens i have a code now a link to their website link to this specific hair discount everything is going to be in the description box you guys please buy this hair it's so light it literally feels like the hair is coming out of my head like see 
just pray this now look at uh uh he choke you guys know that i will never bring you guys rubbish in this place you like they should pay me one million if it's not solid i will not bring it to this place because i don't have the energy for anybody to drag me and it's work compliant party compliant church compliant bride compliant thank you guys for hanging with me if you watch this point and you've not subscribed please subscribe leave a comment like share i'll see you guys in my next video peace out kisses I've made mistakes and all, but your love doesn't fade. I was lost and you found me in the teak of my stones. You brought me out and you wrapped me in your strong arms for oh, 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 Leave my life in your Now inside of you I did Cause my life belongs to you Let the blessings fire those away